All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm sitting out here in a park in Seattle. The dandelions are in full bloom, so I'm looking at a field of yellow. Got the birds chirping, got the Native American flute music popping. Got my best friend Charlie over here by my side. It is the day after the competition, and we have not yet driven back to Spokane, Washington. So I wanted to give you a quick update on what's next in store for me. So quick recap, first of all, I had the GBO show uh, two Saturdays ago on the 8th of April. I won that one. I won the overall. I got my GBO pro card status. Um, won the trip, trip to Cancun, and that was cool. All was good there. This last Saturday, so yesterday, was the WNBF uh, natural competition, which was the main show I was peaking for. And um, I got second on that one. Awesome competitors. Everybody brought it. Like it was, it was awesome. I learned a lot. I think uh, there's a couple things I would do. I'll do differently going forward. I wasn't pleased with the color that I had. I tried a different color, uh, dream tan, and I think it kind of washed out my midsection. I think it washed out my abs. Um, I haven't seen the pictures yet, but that's just what I, that's the feedback I've been given. There's a couple things I need to work on with my posing. Um, but yeah, I got second in my class. You know, I played a win, but I went into it with a really positive outlook, and I came out of it with a really positive outlook. You know, it's a process. I was the guy that beat me. He looked great too. He looked phenomenal. You know, it's all it's a subjective sport. You know, the judges are gonna pick who they pick, and you have to be okay with it, and you have to keep being the best you could be going forward so congratulations to all the competitors you all looked amazing and had a blast battling it out on stage with you uh what's next for me I've, i haven't really led into this yet but i'm excited to there is a jason whitrock did a 21 day 4,000 calorie challenge um i'm going to replicate that immediately post show so Yesterday was show day, and I'll go into detail about what kind of my calories are going to be and all the science and specifics, but uh, today's Sunday. I'm kind of taking the day off, not going to the gym. Um, I'm going to eat what I want, keto still, but eat what I want, and then starting tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to do a daily vlog for the next 21 days illustrating the food I intake that exceeds meat or exceeds 4,000 calories, which is almost 60% greater than what I've been consuming for the past uh, several months in competition prep. Now, my motivation behind doing this is because one of the common themes with bodybuilders uh, and fitness people in this industry is they'll do a competition and then right after the show, they'll develop really bad eating disorders um, I did this after my first show. I rebounded hardcore. I gained 20 pounds in two days. Um, a lot of that was water weight, but I gained 20 pounds in two days. It was unhealthy. Um, like I said, developed eating disorders. Not a sustainable lifestyle whatsoever. And I just had a really bad relationship with food after that. But naturally, I'm hungry. You know, I've just been dieting for four and a half months. I want to be able to eat and enjoy it. Jason Whitrock experienced a drop in body fat and a drop in um, uh, body weight after his 21 days. I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to do 21 days pretty much right after the competition. I'm going to document everything, and uh, I'll definitely keep you all up to date what I'm eating, what my stats are, what my specs are, what my body fat, what my composition looks like, everything, what my lifts are doing. I'm super excited to try this because I think... I don't, as a bodybuilder, I don't think I'll experience the negative rebound um, that I've experienced in the past using carbohydrates. So I think this is a much healthier alternative for competitors moving forward. So, a lot of information there. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a lot of great content for this last show. I can't wait to get that all edited and uploaded. So, Stay tuned for that. I got the professional photo package. I got a lot of great photos coming and video footage. Um, and I'll put that in the vlog as soon as I have it. So stay tuned for that. And there's, there's a lot more information coming your way. But I'm just kind of trying to give you a real quick recap of what to expect. 
And the next thing for me is this 21 day 4,000 plus calorie challenge. Um, and, and I learned a lot over the past four and a half months of prep. So I'm going to try and tie in some of those lessons learned to the daily vlog. So it's not just uh, like a food vlog, basically. I don't want to just overwhelm you all with food, food, food. Um, so there's going to be a lot of really good content learned from throughout the whole competition prep process in the vlogs. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to share that with you all. There's going to be a daily video, so stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hopefully you learned something. Feel free to comment, ask questions, and uh, we're just going to have fun with this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves. One more quick thing. Jason Whitrock made some macadamia nuts in one of his vlogs, and I just fell in love with the idea. So these are chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. And I'm about to chow down on one of these, or a whole pile of these. That's really good right there. That's really good. So, yeah. Y'all get ready for some awesome content. I'm excited to give it to you. I'm excited to bring it. Be consistent with it. Y'all gonna enjoy it. See you in a little bit.